When you have a data intensive application such as health insurance and your on premise traditional data warehouse does not quite fit the pace and the wallet with which your data science team wants to innovate, you know it's time to migrate your data warehouse to cloud. So today I invited Gary Mariali, Director of Data Services team, to share with us how they migrated their data warehouse to BigQuery to innovate faster. Hi, Gary, welcome to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. Well, let's start with what is your role? Sure. What my team does, uh, the data services team, is we support all the databases at the organization. So I imagine it is large amount of data. As a data team, what's your team's biggest challenge? So our biggest challenge is getting that data into our databases and then getting it back out in a timely fashion so we can meet the business's needs. So how much amount of data are we talking about here? We're talking about terabytes of data, and it's continuously growing. As everybody in the industry probably knows, it's got an exponential curve to it, and it's getting bigger all the time. So it sounds like the biggest goal was to really create a forward-looking system to store this ever-growing data in a secure, scalable, and also cost-effective manner. So getting that data in and out and making that data available to all of our users, we have thousands of users and terabytes of data. And meeting those challenges was getting harder and harder in our existing environment. All right. So migration from on-premise data warehouse to BigQuery is quite an undertaking. Definitely not flip of a switch kind of migration. You need to make sure your downstream systems, uh, in this case, thousands of downstream systems, don't break due to inconsistent results in your final tables after your migration. So how did you approach this migration? So we engaged Data Medica, one of uh, Google's business partners, to help us complete an assessment of everything we have today which included not just our data warehouse, but all the applications that use it and all the processes that pull data in and take data out. And they were able to come back and give us a complete picture of what it was we were going to be dealing with. Well, after hearing that solid migration plan, I'm very excited to dive into the migration architecture. Sounds like this is an ongoing migration right now. Walk me through. So the first thing we had to do was put the foundation in place. So that involved getting our networking set up, getting the environment in Google set up, all the connections between the different you know, environments here and, and there, between our data center and Google. Um, so we got all that in place. And then once that was there, then we were able to start working on moving the data over. So we have all the data in our existing system and we used a transfer agent to transfer to big query uh, moves. And that allowed us to pull the data into cloud storage. And then from there, uh, the data went into uh, data quality checks via data flow, uh, which allowed us to move the data into the environment. We were able to set that scheduling up using Cloud Composer uh, to do scheduling and orchestration as well. Uh, then we got it into the staging environment in BigQuery, which allowed us to push it into our core environment and then our information layer so that our end users would have access to everything. Um, and then we have to worry about keeping everything in sync, right? Because while we're in the migration process, which will go on for some time, we need to make sure that what was happening in the old system is what's happening in the new system. And Pelican is the tool with a GKE, GKE cluster that uh, allows us to do that comparison between the two and make sure things stay in sync, which has been a really good feature. Gives us a lot of confidence in what we're doing. Um, and then the end result of all of this is that our consumers on you know, the final end of this journey, people using SQL Server reporting services, Tableau, other applications we've written or third-party applications um, are able to now just point at BigQuery instead of pointing at our existing system and do the same things that they were doing previously. Well, awesome. That was a lot. Now, Given your consumers of the data, which is the data scientists and the business analytics team, uh, you have this modern data warehouse in BigQuery at this point. How do you ingest and process the data? And then how do data science and business analytics team um, do their job, which is analyze this data and make predictions? Sure. Uh, well, we have a lot of different data sources. Uh, being a health insurer, we get data from various providers like hospitals and doctor's offices, uh, testing centers, things like that. 
We also get data from our members. And then we have a lot of processing business partners that we work with, as well as government entities. So we needed a, a way to set up secure file transfers, which we can do. And we can load that into cloud storage and then uh, use API-based services as well to do the same thing. And then we can move that using data proc uh, with our Hadoop type environments that we're used to using to load the data up into BigQuery. So now we've got everything in place and the data scientists can then use the tools that they're used to using, which in this case would be the Vertex artificial intelligence pipelines that are provided in the Google environment. They use Jupyter Notebooks to work with all of that. Um, they're able to take advantage of the fact that it's not a static environment like we had before, so they can add resources. For example, GPUs become a huge benefit in this environment to data scientists, so they can dynamically add them as needed. Um, and then what they end up doing in the end is they build models that help us you know, assess and do preventative care, understand what's going on with our pharmacies, what risks people may have what kind of fraud might be going on. Um, it just allows them to do the magic that it is the data scientists do and understanding how all this data can be put to use to make our members' health better. That is amazing. So what is next in this architecture and what's your team working on now? So the nice thing is now that we have this foundation in place, the security, the networking, all of that, we can start to look at what other types of opportunities there might be. So we've been looking at uh, voice recognition software. We've been looking at different types of reporting tools that are provided up there. Um, there's just a whole host of different applications that are provided on the Google platform that we can now easily put into place compared to before having to buy you know, different hardware in our own data center. So it just presents a lot of opportunities and we're, and we're looking at a lot of them. Well, now that everything is in one place and your infrastructure layers are all set up, you can just innovate on top of that, which is amazing. Thank you so much, Gary. And we congratulate you for what you have accomplished, you and the team have accomplished. And we look forward to seeing more updates on this architecture. Great. Thank you. It's been great talking to you today. If you have any specific topics or industry architectures you would like me to cover, put them in the comments and I will bring them to you.